hello I am Drag and in today's video I will be sort of doing a continuation of a previous video that I did called uh, how to become friends with an artist. In that video I basically made a one-off comment saying how y'all need to stop trying to become friends with bigger artists because it, it's not going to work. And I said that you, you should be reaching out to smaller artists but I realized after posting that video, it might be a bit difficult to find smaller artists since, you know, they're smaller artists. They're harder to find since algorithms aren't really pushing them through. So I've made sort of list of tips that I found useful in my endeavors to find smaller artists. Yeah, let us start that list. Tip number one, go through the comments of big artists. I know what I just said earlier, but this isn't trying to reach out to the bigger artists. Go through the comments of that because chances are that there are smaller artists following these big artists for tips for studying study their work new coloring techniques new whatever it doesn't matter chances are you'll f you'll probably find smaller artists how can you distinguish the uh artists from like the other accounts by going through the accounts but generally what i found in those situations are if they have a unique enough icon that isn't just their face kind of like a character but not drawn in a generic anime style like how you'll see in most anime but just any any unique enough art style chances are that might be an artist. Other things to look for are usernames that have the word draws, animations, art, dot art, whatever. Those might usually be artists. A sort of continuation of that first point is going through big artists' followers and who they might be following. You never know who an artist might be following. They're usually following other big artists because that's generally how that works. But if you go through their followers, chances are you, the same thing applies from going through the comments. You might find some small artists who post yeah <laughs> next tip local artists so this is a point that I kind of added last minute but I think that it's really important support your local artists local artists kind of oh you know they're local chances are you might actually interact with this person in real life and you never know you never know just Start looking more into local artists rather than someone who's on the other side of the world. Because mm, I've, I'm actually lucky enough to have several local artists that I can talk to on a daily basis. And when I say like going out and just like sketching in a sketchbook, that's probably like one of the most fun things that you can do with another artist. I mean, there's a reason why people like going to group streams that artists hold and they're just talking with other artists as they're doing art. It's really fun. Now, how do you find them? I didn't, I didn't actually say how to find them. How you find them? I would, I would recommend going through things like Facebook, uh, Craigslist, Twitter tags. Weirdly enough, I've found a couple from Twitter tags. And like, but going off of that, you know, the, the whole art streams thing, go to art stream. I know that there's sites like Picarto and Twit, which are both ex exclusively streaming sites. I would recommend Picarto though, because while there might be a lot of not safe for work, I mean, if, if that's your thing, go for it. But at least in my experience, they tend to, to promote smaller artists more often than they will the bigger artists. But like I said, it, it's been a couple years since I've been on that site, but the last time I was there, they were promoting smaller artists i would go to the stream there was like maybe max 10 people on most of the accounts that they were promoting promoting but maybe maybe that was just because of the, the site was relatively new at the time more people i don't know i haven't really been there so i'm just speaking from my experience which is a little outdated and uh websites like twitch those i mean twitch more or less will help an artist grow their channel I mean, if you get lucky. Oh, and TikTok. Oh my god, TikTok is freaking amazing for artists. You just post, uh, you can post like time-lapse videos. I mean, not, there's a certain method that you have to follow. You, you can't just post this video of like the whole process on like a stagnant screen. You, you actually kind of like have to get creative with it. Have it, like have the frame change every once in a while. Like I think it was once every five seconds for the best engagement. And uh, basically I think TikTok is one of the better ones because because of TikTok's al algorithm actually. The way that TikTok's algorithm works is everything is sent to the For You page. And the For You page is shown to everyone. So there is a possibility that everyone could see it depending on the engagement. So yeah, TikTok is a good. But um, one of the most important things I think, not the most important, but one of them, is going through the tags. Sites like Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, especially Instagram and Twitter. If you go to any given tag, there is the top posts of that tag and the recent posts of that tag. 
go to the recent tab of those tags and you will find so many creators, so many smaller artists and oh, it's really, it's really, really helpful. Especially since the algorithm hasn't had time to downvote all of those uh, smaller artists, the ones that aren't getting like 10 billion likes per post. That's definitely a good way I recommend follow, like finding smaller artists. Just going through the recent tag of any given tag, you'll find so many, 100% recommend. But the most important tip that I personally think of finding small artists, if you're an artist yourself, is by posting your own art. The number of people that I have met by posting my own art is amazing. Just interacting with your audience, following other artists, posting your own art so that other people can see it, and using the tags, it's incredible. The number of people who come to you, they'll reach out, they'll be like, oh my god, like I love your art. You wanna do an art trade, art trades, whatever. Well, yeah, yeah, do, do art trades, art trades are good too. Um, They'll just be like, oh yeah, there's like so much stuff. And I, I guess I'll add this on, like buy commissions if you have the money to because chances are that uh, that artist is going to post it and then like other artists will see it they'll go to your page they might like what they see and they're like oh i'm gonna follow this person yeah well who knew like, by actually posting your art you'll get more popular yeah anyway um so these are some tips that i think are helpful these are tips that i have found helpful in finding smaller artists so uh, yeah like subscribe um post a comment on some tips that you think might be helpful in finding smaller artists follow me on all of, all of my other social media i stream on twitch a lot lately and yeah i will see you next time bye